my players, I'm Professor Hogan, and welcome to a brand new series. We are going to be playing a randomized Nuzlocke of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Before we do anything, let's just look at the stars, because that's what everyone has come here to see. Elekid? Uh, no. Uh, Meryl? N no. Beedrill is fully evolved, which does give it a huge advantage over the other two. Um, so it was Meryl, Water type. Elekid, Electric type. I think I go for the B drill simply because it's fully evolved. Um, gives me, yeah. Let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. Now, um, the reason why is because we're playing on hard mode. Um, Steel, welcome to the team. D don't ask why I've called Steel. I I have no I no idea. Um, so. The whole premise of Pokemon Infinite Fusion is you can fuse any Pokemon with any other fusion to create a brand new Pokemon. There are over 31,000 Pokemon in this game. It is a little bit ridiculous. Um, our B drill is not fused at the moment because we only have the one Pokemon. However, our rival, British, over here, sends out Makid, which is a combination of Elekid and um, the Azumarill. Azuril. Okay, Twin Needle is... Quite powerful. You've got Thundershock already. Maybe I should have gone for you then. We get the poison. Twin Needle can poison. That is good to know. Oh, it doesn't finish it off, but I think I survived Water Gun. The poison kicks in. We win the first fight. Now, you might not have noticed that. Our rival's mom was level six. We are playing hard mode, um, which means that I think the AI is improved and the uh, difficult the, the um, AI is improved and the levels are improved as well, making it much harder to play through. Uh, I've also uh, set it to insane in terms of um, the the values of Pokemon, meaning I can come across Pokemon that are just a little bit busted, um, but. It's fine. I, I want a difficult game. I want something that is really going to be difficult. And that's how we're going to play this. So, um, this is a randomized Nuzlocke, which means that, as you can obviously tell, things are randomized. Uh, my... Oh, I can't use Fury Swipe. Well, that's fine, because the poison will finish it off. Um, so, pretty much everything is, is randomized. Uh, wild Pokemon, Trainer Pokemon, Items, TMs. Uh, abilities are not randomized, simply because uh, one of the gimmicks of this is by fusing Pokemon, you get to choose which one of the two fused Pokemon's abilities you choose. And to be quite honest with you, I actually prefer that. Uh, means I can have some viable Pokemon, I hope. A Kelpsy Berry. Fantastic. And it's a Nuzlocke. For those of you that don't know what a Nuzlocke is, basically, I can only attempt to catch the first Pokemon on any route. Obviously, it's not working at the moment because I haven't got any Pokeballs, so it doesn't matter. Um, I have to nickname any Pokemon that I catch, and any Pokemon that faints is considered dead, and I can no longer use it. Basically, I just need to keep my Pokemon alive and try and complete the game. That's, that's the point of this whole thing. Um... Because items are randomized on the ground, I'm not going to pick up that one that I've just seen. Um, mainly because if it's a Pokeball, my Nuzlocke starts and trying to catch a single Pokemon with one Pokeball is not how I want to run through this. Okay, Haze doesn't do anything. There's the poison, so it doesn't matter if it's disabled. That's what I was kind of going for here. Uh, and I can just keep chipping away, get those extra levels, which will mean... That when we come to get our first Pokemon, we're not underleveled. Although, we're in a little bit of trouble here. You're going for Protect, but the Poison Damage is still here. Now, unless it one-shots me here, which it doesn't, it goes down. That surely sees me jump to level 8. Fantastic. So, how is this going to work? Uh, basically, I'm going to... Hello, Feebas. I'm going to deliver Oak's Parcel. We're going to get some Pokeballs, which I think we have to buy because the... the po the Pokeballs that you typically get are randomized. Um, okay, if I can get an Entei, there's no way I'm catching that. Uh, but if I can't, I'll be over the moon. And then we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to catch the first couple of Pokemon. And then I probably need to do some off-screen grinding because the trainers in this game are absolutely brutal. This is the third time I've recorded this episode one. Um, the first episode... Wait, I can buy... Wait, can I just buy items already? No. So the first time I recorded this, it wasn't randomized. And while I was happy with the overall video, I, I want to continue doing this as a randomi uh, randomizer. Um, so that's why in the end, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to publish that. Uh, then I recorded another episode where 
it was randomized and I just got absolutely wiped. I had no luck. I was rushing through it. It didn't make good content and I'm not going to release that one either. This is the third attempt, but I wanted to be honest with you that I kind of know what to expect up until Brock. Um, but I, I needed to make sure that, you know, I'm happy with the video. I don't want to push out videos that, that are just crap. 5 PP ups. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Wait. Oh, no. He just said there's not 31,000 Pokemon. There's 31,000 sprites. There's 175,000 Pokemon. Um... Yeah, that, that actually makes sense, actually, because depending on the Pokemon, you flip them around. So you could have, like, a Beedrill with a Feebas face or a Feebas face with a Beedrill body. Uh, okay, let's head up through here. We're going to skip these trainers. Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. I am absolutely starving. Just out of curiosity... I'm just curious how much damage that would do because I want to try and capture an Entei. If I can try and capture the Entei... I'm, g I'm going for it, folks. I I I'd be daft not to try and catch a legendary this early on in the game. And the best thing is, I could get a fire bug Pokemon. Oh, a bug dark? The way the way so the way this works, the random, the 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 merger, the DNA fusion of Pokemon is if you've got a water uh, a water Pokemon and you fuse it with a grass type, you would have a water grass type Pokemon. And it's up to you whether or not you choose. Uh, whether or not its primary is water and its secondary is grass or vice versa. If you try and fuse a grass Pokemon with a Pokemon that's uh, steel water, you'll be able to choose either it becoming grass and steel or grass and water. If you have two Pokemon with two typings each, you can take the first and the secondary either way around. Um, so you can get some really weird combinations, which I'm looking forward to. I want to try and get some combinations that I've never seen before. Uh, hi, how I serve you? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell some of these PP ups because I'd be daft not to get the money this early on in the game. I'm going to need it. Okay, so we're going to close the bag. We're going to buy. So we're going to get a butt ton of Pokeballs here. Like, I'd be daft not to get that many. We're going to get a couple of DNA splices. Uh, we'll just get 10. Uh, I don't need that many, but it's always good to have them. And we're going to get some potions as well. So we have got a butt ton of Pokeballs, items, and everything else. You you give Ground Gem, Bug Gem, Heal Ball. You know what? That would power up my bug type move. That's really good, actually. And then you, you must be home and I give for you a Rose R Roselia. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, Peter, welcome to the team. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'm not going to check out that Pokemon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head into the wild. Let's, um, although what have you got? Much sport hard and bide helping hand. Okay, so you are, you've, you've taken the attacks of the previous whatever the pokemon was before uh okay do i just love pokeballs here why have we ended up with two repeat balls wait when did i get the repeat balls oh when did i get the repeat balls oh no i got them from oak's aid which means i've already wasted an encounter on this route which means i can't get this pokemon I've got to follow my own rules, folks. I didn't see the repeat balls, which means we are already an encounter down. But we can get the encounter on Route 2. It's fine. Let's see what we get. Oh, I would I would take a slow, bro. Um, I think I just have to lob Pokeballs here. There's not a lot else I can do. Because... Oh, no, no, that helps. Because if it maxes its defense i might be able to use another twin needle doesn't matter we get the slow bro oh yes 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 atm welcome to the team if anyone can guess what these uh mons are named after like let me know in the comment section down below and leave a like while you're down there leave a like anyway um so curse you on tackle growl which would work well with fury attack and twin needle actually okay all right let's just um Oh, I am so unhappy right now because I could have had sixes. I could have had the channel mascot. I don't get it. That's infuriating. Let's whack um, 18 into first place. 
Let's we've got we've got plenty of potions. Let's not wander all the way back to town. Let's get a couple of extra levels on this mod before we head into the patch of grass inside. Um, annoyingly, you don't have a water or psychic move yet. I mean, slow bro. The, the the typing between those two are really powerful anyway. But if I confuse it with something good, I could create a psychic bug Pokemon. Water bug maybe. Like, there are some combinations here that I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm going to struggle here, actually. Let's put you to sleep. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have probably stayed in there, you know? That's fine. There's the tackle. You fell asleep. Uh, let's go with the twin needle. Cause some damage. Did more than I expected, funnily enough. Wait, steel doesn't resist bug? That's good to know. I didn't know that. Uh, let's go and heal. And then we're going to head into um, Viridian Forest. And inside Viridian Forest, we're going to get our third encounter because the first one we absolutely bulls up on, which is really annoying because it could have been the Entei. Uh, I absolutely butchered that, but that's fine. That's fine. You know what? We're, le we're learning, folks. We're learning together. Let's do it. Let's head into the wild area of Viridian Forest. What's the encounter? It Hitmoncot. So that Pokemon's already fused. And it's obviously a combination of Hitmontop and, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Wish, Wish Cart? Okay, I need to put you, I meant to put you to sleep. I didn't mean to use Quick Attack. Okay, once it falls asleep, I need to swap. But do I use a Tackle? Doesn't matter, we got it. Hitmontop. Um, so, Fighting Fairy! Oh, that's a little bit busted. Its technique of kicking while spinning is remarkable. Makes of both offense and defense. These Pokemon sneak through gaps into the houses and cause all sorts of... How do I read the rest of it? Oh, that's the that's the noise. I don't know how I do that. Uh, fighting and psychic. Look at that. Uh, what am I getting? Have I already got one called Pewter? Uh, Kadium, welcome to the team. Kadium has been added to your Pokedex. Let's just head one up. Get the item. Brick Mail. Brick mail, is that literally just a brick with a piece of paper attached to it and you throw it through someone's window? Uh, Cadium, hello. Oh, fighting fairy. Gives priority to status move. That is fantastic. Okay. Fighting fairy. What fighting fairy mons are there? There must be one. Fighting fairy. Fight. Wait, Zamazenta? Zamazenta's fighting fairy, right? Let's have a quick look at his weaknesses, because I need to know. No, it's Fighting Steel. What? Hold on, what Fighting Fairy Mons are they? I'm sure someone will tell me. I'm just looking through now to see. I'm looking on Fighting Psychic, Fighting Dark, Fighting Poison, Fighting Psychic. Wait, Fighting Psychic. Is there no Fighting Fairy Mons? No, there's one. Iron Valiant is the only one? Oh, what? So, oh, that's not great. It's weak to Flying Poison, Steel Fairy... Psychic. It only resists fighting rock, bug, and dark. But it resists them quite well, actually. Uh, damage normally by normal ground, ghost, fire, water, grass, electric, ice. So it hasn't... Oh, okay, it's immune to dragon, though, which is good to know. Um, I could... I could go... Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. Uh, let's swap. Let's get... I need to get a couple of extra levels because there are trainers that I need to take on. And the trainers are absolutely busted, okay? The trainers in this game are busted because they also use combined mons, which means that you could encounter a mon that, like, you just don't have anything for at this stage of the game. Um, we've got... Do I just take on that trainer and hope that I win? I feel like I need to level up a little bit, folks. Otherwise, I might lose, which is never, never good. Like, I'm playing this on hard mode. I can't remember if I've mentioned this. Um, So, yeah, everything's got increased levels. Not only that, I've made it so the, the randomizer, the way it works with the base stat totals of Pokemon is that it's on insane mode, which means you could get really powerful Pokemon when typically you, you shouldn't. And I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to lose yet another run in this game, but that's fine. Let's get the couple of extra levels. 
And then we can go and take on this trainer, which will allow me to get both an item and an extra Pokemon. And then we can do the fusions and we can decide... What does Cute Charm do? Wait, we're the same gender, so that won't work? Is that how it works? You've got Splash. Why do you have Splash? Is that a thing? That's not the randomizer. It just normally has Splash. Weird. Okay, fine. Whatever. We could have had a Ralts. There are so many Pokemon on this route that we could have had. Also, I need to check what time it is just to make sure I don't run over. Because I want to keep these half an hour apiece. And probably three episodes a week is what I'm aiming for. I think that's what I want to do. Like, um, just breeze through it. That might mean some grinding off screen. Simply because grinding on screen is never fun. But this is episode one. I feel like I can get away with it in episode one. I'll try and grind between episodes where possible. And just, I think what I'm going to do is only get up to the level of the next gym leader just to make it a bit fairer. Right, okay. Let's go and take on this first trainer. Uh, I believe his Pokemon is level eight. It will be a fusion. I should probably be panicking. I'm a little bit because this game has already proven that it just flat out wants me to die. Uh, let's get the item. Oh, okay. Okay, ability capsule. Yes, please. How does that work with fused mons, though? Oh, it's a Chimchar and a Paris. Um, so I'm okay here. Oh, you absolute. You know what? Let's try and point to sleep. The fact that this has curse and tackle is fantastic. I do need to give it a bit of diversity, though. I don't like the fact I'm running with just tackle. Especially considering I might come across a ghost Pokemon. Okay, so, trainers will give you random items as well when you beat them. An Ockerberry. Okay, so, the first thing we're going to do, let's just head into the wild. I know I'm paralyzed, but I should be okay. Our encounter is a Arimega. So, Ariados and Yamega? It's got Insomnia. Nice. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, that does a lot of damage, but that's okay. It's in the red. Uh, so I can just lob a couple of Pokeballs now. Hopefully this does the job. Come on, stay in the ball. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Um, I can't wait to sleep, which is the annoying thing. Let's just throw a couple of Pokeballs. Okay. Can I swap or not yet? Okay, I can. I, I was concerned I wasn't going to be able to swap then because of the because of the constrict. I've got Twin Needle. That's not going to knock it out, is it? That'll do next to nothing. Perfect. Put it back into the red. Uh, now we can lob some more Pokeballs. Come on, stay in the ball. Come on. Now, thankfully, it's not going to be able to poison me. Come on. Come on. Let's just keep lobbing these. I've got 42 Pokeballs, okay? I'm catching this mon. It's just a matter of when. No messing around. Nice. Water gun, finally. Um, I'm going to drop Growl for now. I like the combination of Yawn, Curse, and Tackle. Always good to know. Bug and Flying. Okay. Uh, by chinning its wings, it creates shockwaves that inflict critical internal injuries to foes. Um, I should know what I'm going to call this. And I'm running out of names. I'm not frozen, folks. I literally cannot think of it. Cadium Iron. We'll call it Iron. I should know this. This is... Why do I not know this? I've read these books so many times. Okay, let's head up here. Let's go and get the item. Power Belt. Okay, so we've got some good items here as well, which is good to know. So, um... DNA Reverse, a DNA Splice, a Bug Jam, and Build to Capsule. Does it give me the option? To Oblivious. Poison Point. Technician. Technician's good, right? Speed... Speed boost? Hold on. What's what's speed boost in Pokemon? Uh, here we go. Speed boost. Oh my lord, yes. That's amazing. Yeah, speed boost is what I thought it was. Oh! Hold on. I could create a busted mon here. Speed boost. Okay, what I could do. Okay, uh. No, no, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, folks. I'm gonna do this. So, I've got DNA reverser here, so I'm gonna use that 
on iron. Yes. Uh, yes. So that should split them out. So this will split the two Pokemon that I've found in the wild. Oh, crap. Uh, it's now bug poison. Okay, so that doesn't work. So once they're fused, they're, they're stuck. Uh, let's get rid of Absorb. We've got Sword Stance. If I can change it to... Uh, no, I, I just got rid of Absorb. Why, why are you trying to get me to... Okay, so can I now use... Can I get Speed Boost? Oh, no! I balls this up! Fine, whatever. Um, okay, so the ability to inflict damage. Let's give that to Steel. Um, the promotes defense gain on leveling, but reduce... No. Uh, power ballot, so EV training, we're going to whack on ATM. Um, we're then going to... Hmm, okay, so I need to combine... So I've got two combined mods. I now need to combine Pokemon. So you might be wondering how this is going to work. So let me just show you. Um, DNA Splice is used. Wait, can I use that on you? Oh, you can unfuse them! Okay, right, so... Perfect. This is this is ace. Okay, so we can combine these two Pokemon now. Okay, so what I can then do? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna create a busted mon. I'm gonna create such a busted mon. Speed boost, yes. Uh, you use your last ability capsule. We're gonna, gonna use a DNA splice. So we're gonna combine Yamega with. Should we combine it with A Team and see what happens? So we can create a Bug Psychic or a Water Flying Pokemon. Do I know any Bug Psychic Pokemon? Bug Psychic Pokemon. Bug Psychic Pokemon. Let's just let's just have a quick look. Bug Psychic. Okay. Or Beetle. So what's what's all Beetle? Because what I can do is I can look at the weaknesses and strengths of the mons that currently have these typings that are legitimate. Um, so while Bug and Psychic is pretty cool and would give me a speed boost curse mom, it's weak to flying rock, bug, ghost, fire. Dot. One, two, three, four, five. That's six weaknesses. It only resists four. Like, I don't like the idea of that, unfortunately. Um, let's see what else we can fuse it with. I mean... Bug flying or bug poison. Oh, wow. That thing looks terrifying. I don't like the idea of that. Um, what, what would you combine to? Water poison or grass psychic? Oh, grass psychic's quite nice. Uh, Grass Psychic, Grass Psychic. I'm trying to think of Grass Pokemon that are also Psychic. It's amazing that when you start to figure this out, you you, you forget... Execute. There we go. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. You forget which Mons you could potentially get, like... Okay. Okay, Bug Psychic. Grass Psychic is not good. It's weak to Flying Poison, Bug Ghost, Fire, Ice, Dot. That's a lot of weaknesses. It does resist a fair few, though. Um, but I am I am wanting to combine some of these Mons. What if I can try to combine Steel and Ariados, Bug Poison? Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Let's combine them. Bug poison. Yeah? Yeah, Mega and Pewter would give me bug poison or grass flying. What else haven't I tried to combine here? Because I kind of feel like whenever I have two Pokemon, I do want to combine them. Like, that, that is what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to combine these two. I swear I saw the Mega Bee Drill. Oh, it's Aridos and Steel. So, Speed Boost is going to help that Mon. It's already Bug Poison. Let's combine those two, I think. Mmm. Water Poison or Bug Psychic. Water Poison or Bug Psychic. Bug Psychic, Water Flying. Oh, so it does matter which order you select? So I'd go for a Water Flying Mon? So Pelipper is the one that comes to mind. The problem with Pelipper, Quad Weak to Electric. Need to remember that. I also need some water because my throat is killing me. I've been so unwell lately. It's only weak to Rock Electric. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Water Flying. Yeah. Let's fuse them. Let's just see what kind of monstrosity we are building here. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. 
Okay, plus defense, minus attack. Ah, neither of those are amazing. Plus speed, defense, that isn't going to help. Uh, let's go with that. We've Sure, combine the move sets. Please choose a move that will be replaced with curse. Uh, let's get rid of tackle. Uh, yawn, I want. So we're going to get rid of foresight. Uh, replace with tackle. I don't want the second tackle. Um, water gun is nice to have. Get rid of quick attack. I've got double team. Wait, it didn't get sword stance? Why didn't you get sword stance? Okay, I'm really confused. So it's got curse, it's got speed boost. That's nice to know. Uh, let's combine uh, DNA splices. I've still got pewter over here, but that doesn't really do anything uh, for me. There we go, bug poison. Uh, yeah, sure. Let, let's fuse these two mons. How long have I got left? Because I want to do some grind. It looks like Mega Beedrill. I love that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I like that. No one should ever approach its nest. Swarm or Insomnia. Um. Oh, plus attack, minus defense. I guess so. Um. How was what bug moves in a pinch? Yeah, go on then. Let's combine them. Constrict, I don't really care for. Uh, yeah. Absorb is nice to have. But I don't think it helps me. Okay, so this is our team rocking for... No, I can't fuse that. So let's just have a quickly. We've got Pure level 4, Steel level 7, Cadium level 3, and Atium level 7. This is a nice little team. I mean... Hold on, have I got a major weakness to fire type? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So, what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I know it's not 30 minutes. However, I, there was, I've learned my lesson. If I try and just go off and battle trainers now, I'm going to lose. I'm going to wipe, and I'm going to have to reset. Don't want to do that. So, I'm going to call it an episode here. Make sure you leave a like if you haven't already. Click one of the on-screen links to watch another episode. And until next time, remember to flex you in a geek. See ya!